Levisept was originally a spin-out company from Pfizer about eight years ago now. And at the time when I was working at Pfizer, we were working on a molecule called tenazumab, which is an anti-NGF antibody. Levisept binds to all four neurotrophins. Unlike the antibody that Pfizer was um, progressing at the time, which only binds to nerve growth factor, I remember that, that sitting down with this, the scientists there and said, look, I've got, this, I've got this idea. I didn't fully understand how the molecule will be binding those four neurotrophins, so they're up for the challenge. Because it's a fusion chimera protein, it didn't really fit into the Lonza platform. The guys at, um, uh, at Cambridge really embraced um, taking on a uh, more complex molecule, um, and Levio 4 is really complex and so they were really up for the collaboration um, and helping us um, make our molecule. The scientists at Lonza um, engineered really flexible options for me. I think at the time they might have given me 10 potential uh, linkers for, between the extracellular domain and the IgG FC component of the molecule. We had a bad day. I remember that day really well. In fact, I was, um, got a phone call from um, my con uh, CMC consultant and said the pilot batch has gone down. And we did a root cause analysis. It was because the molecule's complicated, it's highly complex. We lost some time, but we also learned a lot about our molecule. We took that molecule into both in vitro and in vivo, um, proof of concept studies, bound all the neurotrophins exactly the way we, we envisaged. Yeah, my advice would be uh, go as early as you possibly can. Try and lean on um, the research guys and design together, work as a collaboration. I've been working with Wanza for eight years now um, and that's helped me get my idea from its conception to phase two.